Hi, this is Mike Henriksen from Velocity 2014 in New York. I'm here with Sriram from HP Helion. Sriram, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good, thanks Mike, thank you. So, um, HP Helion, what is HP Helion? So, HP Helion is what I call a complete stack of cloud offerings. Starting from the full hardware, stack. the full stack. Okay. Starting from hardware at the, at the bottom, all the way to the professional services on the top. And you have IIS offerings like HP Helion OpenStack, PaaS offering like HP Helion Development Platform, all in between. So it's a complete stack. And HP is the only vendor that provides such a complete stack. Okay, so it's a complete stack, but is it a complete stack for enterprises or is it a complete stack for a small innovator? Who is it a stack for, or everyone? Good question. Uh, ideally it's for enterprises, but it, there is no restriction that like it is, I mean, the, it is enterprise grade, which means it's good for enterprises, but it, it, is not, it doesn't stop uh, small-time innovators or small-time companies from adopting that. So, uh, kind of step back, right? Think, think from the perspective. So, I told you it's a complete stack, and along with that, you have the HP Helion public cloud, and you also have the HP Helion network of global network of data centers and cloud service providers. So, it's something for everyone, and it's, it's giving you the complete solution where it's all taking to the story of hybrid. Okay, hybrid, so you have some technologies inside of Helion, and one of them, I believe, is OpenStack, or? Exactly, yeah. So uh, the infrastructure layer is based off on, HP, uh, on OpenStack. Okay. So, um, we can talk a little bit more about what that HP Helion OpenStack platform is, uh, but I want a little bit like add more to the, uh, the, the journey of, the story of hybrid, right? So, why is it important? Now, um, I don't know if you have looked at the uh, report from Gartner, one of the reports says that in 2017, about 50% of enterprises, or more than 50% of enterprises would have some kind of hybrid deployments. So, put that in the context, you have the HP Helion public cloud, which is the OpenStack based uh, solution from, uh, from uh, HP, and uh, one of the IDC reports rated HP as uh, top a leader among the private cl private cloud solution providers in 2013. So you have the public cloud, you have the private cloud, and you have the global network of data centers. So but among this all, and the complete stack of offerings, it puts HP as the strongest vendor for your hybrid needs. Whether it's public, private, or hybrid needs, HP is the place to go, and this combination sets HP apart. Okay, so hybrid, when, when do you think we're going to start seeing more hybrid uh, solutions in the market? HP has Helion, yes. and are there other like things coming around that? Oh, sure, like it's interesting, right? See, when enterprises think of cloud, I think uh, they think hybrid. So, because they, they don't want to leave their systems or? Yeah, it's it's kind of like, I mean, I, I personally think like, I mean, it could be any reason, right? But you know, there is a need for having few, some of the components on premise and there is there is a need for going public, right? So so it depends on their workload, it depends on their applications. So hybrid, it, it provides a sweet spot for for their workloads. So that's where like a big companies, everybody's betting on hybrid and HP is also betting on hybrid, right? But Stepping, about, uh, stepping back, right, what is interesting and what is increasing the adoption, particularly around open source platforms, like let's take the example of uh, OpenStack, and it is the arrival of vendors, it is, the, it, is, it is the mature players like HP that is bringing in more and confidence among enterprise customers. And it is, it is more prominent among, it's, gender, it, it's overall common among open source solutions, but it is more prominent among OpenStack in specific. And, and all the more reason is like they offer open stack offerings, they also offer support, which is much needed by the enterprises. Now you can ask me like, why do you need an other distribution? Like you have a lot of open stack distributions. What is the need for HP Helion open stack, a, a new distribution, right? Now, if you have looked at the uh, feedback from operators to the open stack operators, or whoever has played with open stack, what is the, what is the consistent feedback? It is not about one-click install, or it's not about a funky UI, or even fancy billing. It is about making your day-to-day -day operations easy. Like, what can make the operator's life easier? Better monitoring, better troubleshooting, or even make the upgrade story easier, right? HP Helion OpenStack solves this problem. It provides a better monitoring solution, provides intelligent logging features, and also a better upgrade story based on the content network. So this is why you have HP Helion OpenStack distribution. So, uh, interesting things like Docker and container software delivery, is that also going to be working or is that part of the 
you know, the chicken and egg here is that uh, hybrid clouds are going to be perfect for that sort of sure. delivery? You know, like Docker is interesting, you know, uh, and uh, everybody, Docker is the darling, and everybody wants to, to have a piece of that. I can't, I can't comment on like what is the roadmap or what is the plan of Docker having in place. Now, HP has figured out the strategy based on OpenStack and a developer platform on top of it, which is well integrated with the underlying OpenStack. So that is that is right now in the roadmap, right? What will be in, what will be not, like I can't really comment on that. But you know, like containers are always interesting and and. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Sri, we look forward to seeing where Helion goes and where you guys take this in the future. Absolutely. Thank you Thank for your time. Thanks, Mike. Bye-bye.